Hey, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good, and you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is this good evening? Good evening. Is this the first time you received classes online or is you received classes before? I received classes before. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. Aida, for you, did you receive classes before? Okay, I think maybe Aida had some problems. Aida, did you receive classes before online? Uh, excuse me, I can hear you. Okay, is, is this the first time you receive class? Is this the first time you receive class, Aida? No. Okay. She was my classmate. Ah, thank the you, Osman. Thank yeah. you. Okay, perfect, perfect. Great. So, anyone in the group, is this the first time you receive or everyone before? This is a different group. In uh, yes. the second people. Yes, but the important is to, if you understand how to use the platform, if you understand how to access the information, the videos. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm going to explain a little bit about the, and then we're going to get started for it. Okay. So we'll see, we'll make sure that everybody understands. Okay. All right. So this is your module. Okay, you are yeah. pre, right now everybody's in pre-intermediate module three. In this, we have five sections. And we this week and next week we are going to do section one, two, three. Then week three and week four, we are going to do section four and five. Why? Because section one, two, and three are easier and we can go faster, but section four and five are more difficult and need more time. Section three, you have a midterm exam. This midterm exam is section one, two, and three, okay? Then we have section four and five. Section five has a final exam. The final exam is all of the book or is all of the platform section one two three four and five so in the exam for section three is three units the exam for section five is five units okay. now how is how do we do the platform and what is the function well the important is in order to pass from pre-intermediate to intermediate is necessary that you receive the grade 80 or more, okay? That's 80 is eight zero, right? So we have to receive 80 or more in the activities. What are the activities? Here, the little check are the graded activities. This is a knowledge check, the knowledge check, and we have more. And then of course, we also have the exams. All of them we add together and the grade has to be 80 or more, okay? 80 or more. If you have a bad grade, yes, you can repeat the activity and do it again. If you have a bad exam, you can repeat the exam until you get an 80. But the minimum grade in average is 80. In this moment, are there any questions? Is there anyone who doesn't understand me? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿O hay alguien que no entiende lo que estoy diciendo?
I think no, teacher. Thank you, Emma. Okay, great. Now, how to use the platform more effectively? The best way to use the platform is first by doing the activities or by watching the videos before the class. That way, when you come to the class, if you have questions, if you have activities, or you have something that you could not do, it's easier for me to help you exactly with your question. It's not a problem if you can't do the videos before the class, because always, always in the class, we are going to do all of the activities together. But it's easier if you look at the videos before the class. You have to imagine like a gym. If you go to the gym and do exercise, it's good. But if you go to the gym, do exercise, and outside of the gym, you eat healthy, is better. It's like the platform. If in the class you come and you participate, it's good. But if outside the class you are listening to English, you are reading English, and you come to class to speak and participate, is better. That is the idea for the platform. So it's okay if you can't, but it's better for you if you try to do some or what just before the class. Any questions in this moment? No question, teacher. No questions. Okay. Me, teacher. Yes, yes, Aida. I understand all, all. But in this moment, I eh, no aparece el notebook. No aparece en las, el texto para nosotros copiar las, las, ¿cómo se llama? Los textos ni todo eso no aparecen todavía. Aparece lo que usted nos dice, que es mejor que entremos antes, pero no nos está apareciendo lo que nos apareció en los módulos anteriores, que es este, los textos de donde se toman los, eh, las clases que vamos a ver. Y yo por lo menos los ocupo porque yo transcribo y lo ocupo para la hora de la clase o para reforzar lo que se ve en cada una de esas cositas antes de, 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 de recibir la clase. No aparece el libro de texto. Ok, Aida. Aida, no estoy seguro a qué libro de texto se refiere eh, porque... El, esta plataforma ha sido así desde el año pasado, sin ningún texto más que los videos y las cuestiones gramáticas. Ajá, pero al final, solo aparece ahorita, curso, discusiones y progresos. Pero uh -huh. antes también aparecían, aparecía otra que era, el, es como el libro de texto que aparecía y nosotros de ahí lo, 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 lo tomábamos todas las cosas. Es el manual, creo. El manual. Ajá, el manual no aparece. Ajá. Sí, sí. Creo que no va a aparecer, Aida. No sé por qué anteriormente aparecía, porque en los grupos, en los niveles, eh, creo que es por el nivel. Creo que solo aparece en los niveles, uh, y, eh, ya los niveles ya mayores ya no aparecen eso. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí. Okay. Thank Pero, you. No, no, thank you, Aida, porque es una buena pregunta. Porque seguramente alguien más lo va a ir buscando y va a decir, ¡Eh! no lo encuentro, pero me da pena preguntar. Así que muchas gracias, Aida. Okay. Any other questions? Anyone else? Any questions? For me, no question. For you, no questions. Okay. Then let me ask you. Okay, let's see. Okay. Uh, what is the minimum grade to pass the course? 80%. Thank you, 80%. In week one and week two, how many units, how many sections are we going to see? Section one, two, two, three. three. Correct. Section one, two, and three. So okay. that means that next week, next week Friday is your first exam. 
already in Friday, you have an exam. This is important because you need to organize yourself. You need to organize your time. No, ah, ah, later, later. I después hago la plataforma. I después, no. You need to be in the day because if not, accumulate, 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 and then ah, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. So try a little bit, a little bit every day. Okay. Good. How many exams do we have in the platform? How many exams? Mirror Sam. Sam. I don't know. Two exams. Two, 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 two exams. Two exams. Two exams. Correct. Midterm test and the final test. Very good, Anil. The midterm test, finish unit three, and the final test when we finish unit five. Yes. Remember, the midterm test is unit one, two, and three. And the final test is unit one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. 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 Any questions? If not, we, we begin in the platform. Okay, great. Okay. okay, so now we're going to listen and we're going to watch a video about the city, okay? Uh, share my screen with you. Hi, welcome to this new section. We are about to watch and listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. As soon as you listen to it, I want you to play it again and practice the conversation with a friend or a relative. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Uh, we have... Hi, welcome to this... What city are they describing? What city are they talking about? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. San Juan. San Juan, that's right. Okay, so they're talking about Puerto Rico, right? And they're talking about San Juan. Okay, good. Let's look at this conversation. Are there any words you don't know? Fairly. Repeat. Fairly. Fairly. Mm. Fair, uh, is this word correct right here? It's a, yes. Yes, it's a fairly big city. It's similar. Yes. To, idea fairly big is very. It's a very big city. Fairly. Mm -hmm. No, but yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> Any other words? Okay. So here, when they are describing the city, what words do they use to describe the city? The weather. Ah, okay, the weather. What about the weather? What do they say? about the weather the weather is great <laughs> okay so they use the word great mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The price. You... how are the beaches how do they describe the beaches fantastic fantastic, fantastic. fantastic. the fantastic. beaches uh -huh. fantastic some fantastic okay. outside the city okay 
expensive. It's more expensive. It's more very expensive. They also describe the word. They say it's big, right? It's a big city. That they say it's reasonable. The prices are reasonable. Okay. So we see they use a lot of words to describe the city. Now, what are those things? Here, we're going to learn how we use them. This is the usage of adverbs. The adverbs are before the adjectives, okay? What is the difference between an adjective and an adverb? Well, we're going to learn and see to make sure that we understand adjectives and adverbs. Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. It's fairly big. It's a fairly big city. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. It's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. So from these pictures that we see, which word is the adjective in the first sentence? San Juan is, a, is really nice. Which word is the adjective? Nice. Nice. Yes. An adverb is modify the adjective. The adverb tells you how much. Ah, nice. A little nice. Fairly nice. This is the function of the adverb. The adverb is not to describe it, is to describe the adjective. So if you say, oh, it's big, okay, but how big? Ah, it's extremely big. It's somewhat big. It's fairly big. This is give you the idea how big. So the adverb answer the questions how. Okay. Let us start. An adverb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. So if you want to make a strong statement, you may add an adverb. It is not the same to say her car is expensive than to say her car is very expensive. Now let's talk about this chart. Notice they're organized from the most to the least. We also have the adverb too, which means more than you want, so we usually use it with a negative adjective. Read the following. This part is important. The two is not like in Spanish. It's normally used with negative adjectives to have a negative meaning. If, for example, you do not say to your friend, oh, you are too funny, or you are too nice. This is negative. This means you are not funny. This means you are not nice. The two is usually used for negative ideas. Following sentence, this dress is too big for me, meaning the dress won't fit me. Now that you have listened to the explanation and the audio program, I want you to make sentences using the adverbs presented in the small chart. Please write them on our discussion box. Write one sentence for each adverb. Okay, so if you see, we have the words I'm going to put, we, I'll put it in the chart, in the, sorry, in the chat, so we can know which ones we are talking about and make sure that everybody understands. So, a few, what is the first one? Extremely. Do you know what is extremely? Extremadamente. Okay, good. So, extremely. 
a lot, right? Okay, what about the word very? What does the word very mean? Muy. Okay. It's like much. It's like much, it's like good. What about the word really? What does the word really mean? Realmente. Realmente. Okay. Yeah, it's the same like, like much, exactly. Then we have the word pretty, but not pretty for the adjective, pretty for the adverb. What is pretty? If you say, oh, that's pretty big, or that's pretty small, or that's pretty, that pretty, what kind, what does that mean? Muy. Mas. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's not, it, it's pretty, it's like, it's not extreme, but it's more than you expect. It's more than you expect. Then we have fairly, right? Uh, it's fairly, it's fairly big. It's fairly expensive. Very. Okay. Almost like very, but less, but less than, okay. So let's imagine we have a, a bottle of agua cristal, right? We have a bottle of, of the water. And I say, hey, a normal bottle for, for you, right? A normal bottle. And I say, hey, it's $1. Hmm. It's... It's fairly expensive because normally 50 cents, for example. But if I say, oh, it's some, it's it's two dollars. Oh my God, that's really expensive. That's extremely expensive or very, right? But if it's if I say it's 75 cents, eh, it's somewhat expensive. It's not cheap, but really it's not, it's not too bad kind of like the idea fairly. It's okay, those meanings? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. I want you to choose three words, three words from the chat and write a sentence using them. Put them in the chat. Write three words from the chat and use them in a sentence. Okay. Good, good. We're starting to get some sentences. Good, good. Remember, three different words. You want to choose three different words. It's very. I think somebody has the microphone they need to put. Uh -huh.
tarde. Anybody need help? Any questions? See, what the meaning of what the meaning of somewhat? Somewhat is más o menos. It's more or less. Okay. Anybody else? Any other questions? Sure. Yes. Uh, when you use uh, fairly. Fairly. Mm. Fairly is used like um, is a little is a little bit more than you expect. Teacher, is correct say say my English is somewhere somewhat. Somewhat, and then you need the adjective. Remember, it's not only somewhat. My English is somewhat good, somewhat bad. Somewhat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh, uh, the word barely is included in these works. Which word? Barely. Barely. Yes. yes, you can also use the word barely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, pretty good. Anybody else? Any other questions? So we have all of these. I think I see all of them. The dress is extremely expensive. Now, in Monica, you say she's house is pretty big. It's not she's, it's her house. Her house or my house or their house. That's the only one. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Elmer, you say, I can't barely say, and you need to continue. So for example, uh, I think you want to say, uh, yo, I think it, you're trying to say, yo puedo, apenas puedo hablar, is that it? Okay, so then Elmer, you need to say, I can barely speak, verb uh, speak. Mm -hmm. uh, the meaning don't is, uh, Apenas lo puedo decir o ah, apenas, apenas lo puedo decir, no. Y el lo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it's okay, lo, but it's okay that, but I can barely say it. Uh, I can barely say it. Uh, okay. That would be correct. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Of course, of course. Okay. I think for this, the adverbs, it's clear for everyone, yes? Okay, so let's try together. Let's see if we, let me see. We have one more. I think there was one more. Uh, my English is extremely bad. Ah, hi, Oscar, it's a lie, but it's good, the sentence. All right, my house is very pretty. Hey, Hector, we have to visit your house. Okay, <laughs> good. So now we have knowledge check 1.4. 
Would you see in knowledge check one point, we have only four questions, four questions. In your computer, in your platform, I want you to complete knowledge check 1.4 and then we check together, okay? So in this moment, you complete knowledge check 1.4. I don't know what's up, Norma. Maybe, maybe it's true, maybe it's small. Hmm. The teacher is very small. Okay. Teacher, y no puede dejar la pantalla. Eh, visto en la pantalla para que nosotros lo contestemos desde aquí de en la pantalla ya yes, Aida, por eso está en su plataforma si no lo va a contestar y no le va a quedar la nota de a la actividad ah, es que hoy se trabaja directo en, ah, yo pensé que era como el anterior Va, okay. ah, es lo, ajá, por eso es que no hay el libro porque es el 1.4 pero es en, o sea, yo puedo compartir la pantalla no hay problema, pero si usted lo hace en papel o lo hace en otra forma esa nota no le queda registrada para usted y lo tiene que volver a hacer posteriormente para que quede registrado bajo sus notas. Quiero me regala la dirección de la plataforma, por favor. Ya lo copio y ya se lo pongo. Perfecto. Uh -huh. sí. Y tenemos que contestar ahorita en la plataforma, teacher. Si pueden, sí, sí, no se preocupe, lo vamos a contestar juntos. Solo como le menciono a Ida, si no lo contesta ahorita, eh, por si, posteriormente lo vamos a contestar y igual siempre le va a tocar regresar y contestarlo para que quede registrado para su nota. O sea, como uno va trabajando en la plataforma adelantado algunas veces. Sí, perfecto. Entonces, si usted va adelantado, ya lo tiene contestado, ya, ya está. Y eso es, eso, y eso es el propósito, porque... Si usted lo contesta y de repente tiene, no sé, tres de cuatro, hey, que ya está, no sé, pero usted lo hace una y otra vez, ya no lo vuelva a hacer porque solo está adivinando. Y la idea no es de sacar un 10 adivinando, la idea es sacar un 10 sabiendo por qué es esa la respuesta. Eh, no me acuerdo quién me pidió el, el link para la plataforma, ahí está en el chat. Igual, y, ajá, igual Elmer debe estar en el correo que, que le enviaron, eh, pero... Sí, eso, eso estaba viendo ahorita. Okay. No puedo entrar. ¿Qué pasó, Aida? ¿No puedes entrar a la plataforma? Yo ya estoy aquí, pero no me abre la cosita para trabajar. O sea, ya... ya... Ya vi los videos yo y me quedé que vale en la cosita para trabajar en ejercicio y lo estoy pullando, pero no me lo abres. Tranquila, como le digo, lo vamos a hacer juntos, solo que lo va a tener que hacer otra vez. A ver, en, cuando terminemos. Ok, sí, porque no me abre. It's ok, it's ok. No stress, no problem. Uh -huh. Lourdes, ¿qué es ese, ese enlace? ¿El enlace para qué, Lourdes? Buenas noches, teacher. Es el enlace para entrar a la plataforma que enviaron a, um, en el WhatsApp. Ah, sí, sí, porque ustedes tienen dos opciones. Si por algún lado caso no pueden estar en clase y quieren ver lo que hicimos en clase, ese es el enlace para ver los videos de YouTube que subimos. No, el de, el de arriba es cómo, cómo activarla, es un video que explica en YouTube y el de abajo es para entrar a la plataforma. Ok, entonces ahí, de, ahí está Lourdes ya apoyándote como una buena compañera para que tengas la información. No, gracias, es que ya estoy adentro, no me abre el sistema, de ustedes no me abre, yo ya estoy adentro. ¿Puedes compartir tu pantalla? Tal vez no estoy entendiendo bien qué es lo que no te hace. En el WhatsApp lo voy a poner ahorita para que lo mire del grupo, para que vea lo que, lo que, donde yo estoy y que no me okay. abre. 
Perfecto. Um, ahorita estoy ahí. Yo ya le estoy dando lo azul y no abre. Yo ya estoy adentro de la plataforma. Ya hiciste cuatro actividades. Y no me abre la siguiente. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. la siguiente. Y ya reinicié ya la página, pero no me deja. Emily, ¿y a vos no te deja? ¿Y estás en celular también? Sí, estoy en el celular. Incluso traté de hacerlo en el otro celular, pero no me dejó. Ok. ¿Hay alguien más que está en celular que no lo está permitiendo? Yo. No. Buenas noches. Hola, María. Yo estoy teniendo un, un problema nada más y es que sí puedo accesar, pero no me da acceso al curso preintermedio 3, sino que me dejó en el siguiente. Me dice página no encontrada. Cuando le doy clic al preintermedio 3. Entonces, pre-intermedio 3 no te deja. ¿Cuál curso te Ajá. ¿Cuál curso? Me deja, me, me deja siempre en el pre-intermedio 2. Ah, en el que estaba ah. antes. Ese es el único problema que tengo. Sí puedo accesar del celular, pero no al contenido de, de este módulo. Ok, perfecto. En, entonces, Teacher. ¿estás en el grupo de WhatsApp, María? Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Ahí estoy. En el grupo de WhatsApp aparecen dos personas que aparecen como administradores. O Elena o... Jason Bautista. Le, okay. puedes escribir, le puedes escribir a, a ambos o a uno de los dos informándole de tu situación para que te la activen para el día de mañana. Ok. Ok. Muchas gracias. Sí. De gracias. nada, María. ¿Alguien más? El teacher y yo, este, se va a revisar la computadora, pero sí, bueno, conmigo aparece lo que es para ver lo que es la plataforma. Sí aparece. Sí, sale, sale y, y sale todo lo que vamos a, estar, vamos a estar viendo. Ok, ok. Ya vamos a ver, no se preocupen. Los que no pueden, eh, siempre hay algún problema técnico y algo. Y ahí es donde están los administradores que están en el grupo de WhatsApp. Les voy a explicar un poquito para que no confundamos en cuál es la diferencia. La diferencia es que yo los apoyo en todo lo que tiene que ver con el idioma inglés. Lo que es vocabulario, eh, comprensión, ejercicios, cosas así. Toda la parte técnica no tengo nada que ver con eso. O sea, no puedo ver, eh, o no puedo, eh, si no tienen acceso a la plataforma, si perdieron la contraseña, si hay algo que no le carga. Para eso es la área técnica, que son los que aparecen ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp, que les pueden apoyar. La mejor forma es no esperar hasta el siguiente día, sino que escribir en el momento y cuando ellos lleguen, ya tienen un, créeme que son cientos, cientos de alumnos. Entonces ellos van en lista. Entonces si ya tienes un mensaje desde la noche anterior, ellos simplemente van, ok, este le tengo que contestar, esto no. A veces uno dice, es que nunca me contesta. Pero imagínense, Ahorita en el grupo anterior, solo yo, un docente, tenía 27 alumnos. Ahorita, solo yo tengo 23. Y si todos, uno de cada cuatro tiene un mensaje, solo ahí 16 mensajes que va a recibir Jason mañana en la mañana. Y digamos los otros 30 docentes que están trabajando. Ya se imaginan la cantidad de mensajes que reciben. Entonces, por eso digo, si tienen alguna duda o problema, es mejor escribirle. Y no tengan pena. Si en el mañana ven que no le contesta, escríbenle de nuevo. Por eso mismo, para que sepan que ustedes necesitan que, para que él esté pendiente también. Y así no lo va bajando en la lista. ¿Okay? Entonces, cualquier cosa técnica, cualquier pregunta, ahí con los administradores de ahí. Pero cualquier consulta, hey, co hey, hey, profe, yo no entendí qué era este vocabulario, cómo hacer este ejercicio, o, o qué tenía que contestar. Ahí con mucho gusto y ahí es donde los apoyo yo. Ok, thank you. You're welcome, Aida. Eh, creo que de este grupo, ya que lo estamos mencionando, y como es el, nuestro primer día, mejor tocamos el punto, creo que alguien eh, me escribió en el chat, o escribió en el chat, que ellos aparecían, que tenían acceso, pero le aparecía como que no tienen derecho a, eh, a certificado. ¿Había alguien aquí que le aparecía así? No. 
Me equivoqué. Sí. Ok. Vale, yo pensé que a alguien aquí le aparecía, eh, puede hacer acceso al, al todo, pero no podía recibir diploma. O... Mi teacher. Ah, entonces, sí, sí era aquí. Ok, sí. Eh, en Ida, lo mismo. Eh, usted, pero dicen que se lo van a activar, que es cuestión de eh, simplemente de activación. Usted va a seguir todo el curso y le va a hacer y en su momento le van a activar eso y siempre le va a contar todos los ejercicios que haga. Sin embargo, le recomiendo que es igual que la área técnica, escribe a Jonathan o Elena, solo, solo para que quede constancia de que sí, usted lo reportó el primer día y de no hay ningún problema de, eh, mire, es que fíjese que usted no nos avisó, no, desde el primer día yo le avisé y ya está. Ok, Nido. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. Y también para cualquier otra persona que no le aparece que tiene acceso a recibir el certificado. Pero todos van a tener derecho al certificado, aunque le aparezca en este momento que no, sino que solo es cuestión de activación. Lo que pasa es que a mí me explicaron, yo vengo desde el, el básico, básico uno, en esta modalidad eh, no tenemos derecho a descargarlo, sino que tenemos que ir a traerlo. Sí, 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 pero tiene que, ahí tiene que aparecer que tiene derecho a, a eso, porque hay algunos que le parece que no tienen derecho a diploma. Okay. Que, como que si solo fueran oyentes del curso y, okay. y nosotros no tenemos oyentes, o sea, todos son participantes activos. Así que Edwin, aunque no quiere hablar, le va a tocar hablar. María, aunque no quiere hablar, le va a tocar hablar. O sea, no solo está, ay, voy a escuchar, ay, no se preocupe, por, no, me, no me pase, no me pase. No, no, nada que ver. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Edwin. Eh, eh, tenemos dos Edwin. Uh -huh. <laughs> eh, what is the meaning of the how tone? How tone. Can you put it in the chat, Edwin? Or, or, eh, or, or what eh, number is it? Eh, is then the question two? Question two. Ah, hometown. Yes. No problem. Hometown. Good. One more time. Everyone, the pronunciation is hometown. Hometown. As example, I live, I live in Santa Tecla, but originally from San Vicente. My hometown is San Vicente. Teacher, es como lugar de nacimiento, pero que vive en pueblo. Acá. Casa de pueblo. No, ¿Qué sería no. como el lugar de nacimiento? No, 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 no. El lugar donde creciste, donde fue tu juventud. Es sí, sí, hometown. Entonces, si vos naciste en San Miguel y te fuiste el siguiente día y pasaste cinco años en la Unión, entonces tu hometown está en la Unión. Ana. And another question is Seoul yes. is, an, is a city? It Seoul is a city. And... It's a city in Korea. Korea, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any other questions? No, teacher. I finished the job. Okay. All right, great. That's great news. Okay, so let's check together. Let's see. Everybody, we should have the correct answers. Okay, so number one, what's so like? Is it in place? Ahora, ustedes no tengan pena. Si somos demasiado para que escuche todo, pero en su casa, después de que yo lea, ustedes repiten no más alta. Traten de hacer la misma mímica que yo hago, no solo What de la, so de la like. palabra, sino It's que es el sonido. Okay. Place. So, vamos a intentar otra vez, todos. So like. What is so like? Is it an interesting place? It's an interesting place. Not really, it's just me. And it is really boring. That's why I move away. Okay. Oh, yes, it's amazing shopping. So what is the answer? What do you think is the best answer? 
I consider I consider that is yes. uh, the first. Are you I the don't first? Know. I the don't know. The third one. Problem, Edwin, don't worry. Anybody else? A different answer? The third. Number three. Number three. Yes. Number three. Number three. Number three. Shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Yes. The number three, teacher. Number three. Okay. Let's try number three. Good. What about two? Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? No, really. The number four teacher. Oh, really. Really. Number four teacher. Number four. Okay. Really yes. Okay. That's why I'm moving away. Okay. What's Sydney like? I've never been there before. Oh, really? Oh, really? It's Sydney beautiful. It's the number one. Very clean. Beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Okay. And what about number four? Have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Number, number two. Okay. And let's see. Together, we can see that all of the answers that we selected are correct. Okay. These are the answers you should have in your platform also. Any questions in this moment? No, teacher. No? Okay. Any question? No? Okay. No question, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so in this moment, please write a description of your hometown. If you are from, a, I don't know, from San Miguel, from Santa Ana, from wherever, from Canton, Cruz del Camino, from a, whatever, from a taco city, a taco town, it's okay. Describe your hometown. Let me see. Let me see the description in the chat. Where is my list, teacher? In the chat. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, I don't understand. Uh, repeat, please, the instruction. Of course. The exercise is you are going to write a description of your city like in the sentences from the platform. Like, uh, for you, where is your hometown? Oh, okay, San Juan Opico. Okay, so you write San Juan Opico and describe San Juan Opico. Mm -hmm. Okay, understand. Thanks. You're welcome. Is necessary, teacher, that the writing describe or only the speak? No, not describe. Okay. How about the city? I have the idea, teacher. Oh, and I put that only for. 
but um, I live in San Juan Opico. Uh, okay. my, my hometown, my hometown for me is an excellent place because uh, the people is a friendship. Really? Um, um, that's it. Good Put right, right in the chat. Very good, Lord. Good. Again, remember that is no the department has a cold weather. Is the department has cold weather? No, ah. Uh. Papi, this is really cold. Tisha? Mm -hmm. Remember, Oscar, small is with A, no O, no small, small. A. Yes, yes, Oskar? Sorry, sorry, thank you. Oh. Tisha, good evening. Good evening. Please check my homework. Yes, yes. Okay. I did. That's what I said. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. My hometown is very small. The weather is really hot. The people are very friendly. It's pretty good, okay. Remember, uh, the same problem is going to be in the platform. The, the sentence is correct, the information, but remember the capital letters. The capital letters when you begin the sentence and the periods when you finish the sentence. Teacher, my homework is, is so good. It's so, so. <laughs> So, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. We have many people. All right. All right, let's see. Okay. Reina, no special. My hometown is very special. E, no E. Mm -hmm. And, eh, no is teacher. No, no e, eh, no e eh special. My home is okay. And also, the houses are a eh, very big or are a little big, but no, the houses are very big. Okay. 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 Thanks. You're welcome. Let me see. Ah, uh, Good. Let's see. We have Apollo. Let me see. Alejandro, good. Maria, I see you use Spanish. You mix my city is clean. Bueno, is very good. I, I try to, to write, but it's a very crowded place. But, uh -huh. ah, but, ah, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Elmer, I don't know El Refugio City. Where is El Refugio? It's near to Watch Upon. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, between us, uh, Atikisaya and Santa Ana. Chalchuapa, sorry. Chalchuapa. Okay, okay. Oscar and Elmer have the same mistake. Oscar and Elmer, remember, the people are, the people are, the people are friendly, the people are, because people is plural, not singular. So no is, the people are. Okay. Yes, the people are nice and loving. Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. hey, Aida, what is this? Very no verte. Well, Ah, no, baby, no verte. Es que esto se, se escribe solo a veces. Ah, ok. Yo, yo, I don't understand that. No sé cuál pueblo es ese, baby, no verte. <laughs> me pasa lo mismo cuando escribo en mi teléfono, que él me traduce. Ajá, uh -huh. it's true. Yes, 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 it's true. It's true. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ok. All right, good, very good. So we are clear for the activities and the exercises. 
Only when they check in, my own town is San Salvador. Okay, it's very stressful. Ah, very good. And let me see, who is this from? Uh, someone, Ciudad Delgado. Uh, remember, it's a crowded city is with apostrophe. It is, so it's apostrophe, a crowded city, Irving. That's for you, Irving, okay? This is okay. okay. Okay, great, great job, all right. So now we continue on with our next exercise. Everybody, yeah. yes. Okay. The next thing, or the thing that we're going to see tomorrow is how to make sentences better using the words, and, but, though, and however, okay? What are the conjunctions we're gonna use? What are those conjunctions? In Spanish, y, pero, aunque, sin embargo. These are the ones that we're talking about how to use correctly tomorrow. Here we have a small video to give us an, an idea today. So let's watch the small video before we go home. Hi, nice to see you again. This time we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice. So please stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use and to connect two positive or two negative ideas. That is the important. And is to connect ideas. For example, the city's ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction and. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before and? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction but. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one. So different, and is to connect two ideas but is to connect two different ideas. This is the most common. And two ideas, the same, but two ideas different. Okay, it's okay, and and but? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Now, the important is, if you have time, we go on and you see the video and everything. Before we go, okay. Hay alguna duda, alguna pregunta, una consulta antes de finalizar nuestro primer día? Hey, Joanna, will you pass a checklist? No, Joanna, porque el checklist es automático. Sí, forma okay. cuando ingresas. Y cuando vas haciendo los ejercicios, ahí puedes ver tu reporte y, a, y dice cuál es, cómo vas el proceso. Así que es automático. Oh, oh, Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Edwin. Ah, yes. Uh, eh, when you want to use the however. However. Ah, excellent question. However is a little bit different. And if C in the section is, however, is sin embargo. I want to go to the beach. However, I don't have a car. Quiero ir a la playa. Sin embargo, no tengo carro. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Okay. Me, teacher. Ah, ahí está. Ya sé que alguien había dicho. Uh -huh. Yes, I. Why? Two. Is only for a negative sentence because no, I is, can. Mm -hmm. Two is normally for negative porque significa demasiado. No significa muy. Si lo buscas en traductor de Google, te va a aparecer como muy. 
pero si lo utilizas eh. es demasiado. Entonces, por ejemplo, no vas a decir, mi amigo es demasiado eh, chistoso. Va a decir, es muy chistoso, porque demasiado significa algo negativo, demasiado grande, demasiado loco, demasiado tareas. Entonces, ese es el... De como negativo, porque cuando responde, digamos, I like soda, me too, uh -huh. no es no es de una forma negativa. Exacto, pero no estás combinándolo con nada. Mm. Expresión, me too. Es cuando lo es, Ajá, es como cuando yo digo, eh, ¿cómo estás? O azul, pero azul es un color, estoy pintado. No, es la expresión que se utiliza. Entonces, el me too es la expresión que significa yo también. Pero tú no significa también. Tú con una palabra, o sea, tú con un sustantivo, un noun, significa demasiado. Demasiado. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Well, have a great night. And tomorrow we continue. And I hope to see everyone. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you for being in class. Thank you, teacher. 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 Thank you, teacher.